Greetings, Happy New Year, and welcome to another episode of Tool School. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about diagonal seam tape. I used it for the first time this weekend and literally was like, where has this tape been all my life? It's awesome, it is so great, you're gonna love it. What it is, is it's a tape that you put on your sewing machine that helps you sew accurate diagonal seams without marking your fabric. So a diagonal seam um, block would be a snowball block, a half square triangle, a flying geese, you get the picture. So how this works is it's a little bit of a, it's a washi tape. It's thin and it has a red line here down the middle and that is your needle mark. That's where your needle is gonna land. And to the right and left of it are quarter of an inch lines, these black lines that show you where the quarter inch is on your machine. So to put it on, you just peel off this washi tape and don't worry, it doesn't have a really heavy adhesive on the back so it's not difficult to take off and it doesn't leave a residue on your table. But to put it on, here's what I did. I cut a swath of this tape and I lined it up with a quarter of an inch marks on my stitch plate. Bernina has done a terrific job marking their stitch plates with a quarter of an inch to the left and to the right of the needle. And so I put those black lines right there on those marks. I then lined up the tape along my table, again with the needle mark and the quarter, quarter inch marks. I typically would have one strip of tape, but I wanted you to see that the markings on the Bernina table show the, the needle and the two quarter inch marks. So you typically have your, your tape all along here. So once you have your tape on there, this is how it works. So I'll show you with a little snowball block here. Let me just put this block in place. So typically with a snowball block, I would draw a di diagonal line from the top left corner to the bottom right, and I would sew along that line. Well, with this tape, I don't need to mark anything, and that's the beauty of it. It really saves you a lot of time. So I'm gonna put my, my top corner on the red line and my bottom corner on the red line. I'm gonna kind of scooch it forward a little bit. Let's see if I can get an alignment here. Let me just get a little tighter up. And I am going to start sewing just a little early. I'm going to ride this bottom diagonal piece right along that needle line. Do you see that? I'm trying to do it one-handed so that you, my hand is not in your way. There you go. And um, I'm just gonna pull this out here and use my cutter here. So the end result is a perfect diagonal seam line from the top to the bottom. So all I have to do is trim that off, press it forward, and I have the perfect and accurate snowball corner. Now for a half square triangle, that's a little different. So here are two pieces of fabric that I would use to make a half square triangle. And typically, again, I would draw that diagonal line corner to corner, and then I would sew a quarter of an inch on either side of that line. Well, again, no marking required. So I am going to line up my um, top corners, my bottom corner here with the quarter inch mark on the left. And I'm gonna just pull that up just a little. And I am gonna start here. My point here is lined up with the edge of my quarter inch foot that I have on, so I know that the top is right out of a quarter inch mark. And again, I'm just gonna sew all, sew down that line, keeping that bottom corner right on that quarter, quarter of an inch mark. So right there, perfect. Pull that up, cut it. So I have a quarter of an inch mark to the left of the center center point. And now I'm gonna do the same thing um, with the bottom. I'm gonna line that up with the uh, top corner with the edge of my presser foot, the bottom line with the mark. I'm gonna sew that line right there perfectly. Look that up. So, now I have a half square block. All I have to do is cut corner to corner, open them up, and I have perfect half square triangles. This tape is great. It will save you a lot of time um, when you're piecing, when you're making these diagonal seams. It's easy to use and it's accurate. 
I also think it would be great for beginning sewers so that they have that quarter inch mark all the way down the edge of their um, sewing machine. So don't, don't hesitate to stop in, grab some of this diagonal seam tape from us. I promise you're gonna love it. Accurate, easy to use, and um, really a, a, a game changer. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, just show us a little social media love. We would appreciate it. Thank you.